Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Today it is cold. I was thinking last night, I think there's a common misconception about Arizona, the Arizona desert in particular, in January, because that's when all of like the big events happen. It's mostly January. Uh, in quartzite, in quartzite, that is. Speaking of the, the van life and RV community, so many things happen in quartzite in January that I think a lot of people just assume that it's warm. But in fact, it is our coldest month of the year every year. <laughs> we hit freezing temperatures. It was 29 the other night and with highs of like 55. And it can be extremely windy, which makes it even worse. So I'm really, really, really hoping that it warms up by January 22nd for my meetup because like right now it's not bad. It's like 55 and it's sunny and where I'm at, I'm not out in quartzite right now, but where I'm at, like it's not windy. So it's really nice in the sun. But as soon as the sun goes down, man, it gets cold. I'm just hoping for like 65 degrees and not brutally windy and like 45 at night for my meetup like crossing my fingers January in quartzite is very very cold don't get it twisted we're not gonna have 70 degrees y'all nope 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 we have beautiful days in December and then it starts to warm up in February but January is brutal <laughs> so um does anyone else like to just like do stuff in their van it might sound kind of silly, but I've coined the phrase for me, van things. Like, um, if I'm doing van things, that means that I'm either decorating, cleaning, organizing, restocking, uh, looking at my masterpiece, <laughs> you know, just like doing van things because I'm so passionate about my van. I love my van so much. I'm at my home base right now and, um... I live in a three bedroom house with two guys <laughs> and I'm pretty much like when I'm at my house, I am like outside working on my van or in my garage working on van things, if you will. Lately, I've been purging, you know, it, uh, I didn't realize how much stuff I still had after beginning to purge in 2018, because that's when I left my ex-husband and I got my two-bedroom apartment on my own, um, I started purging then. Like, that's when the process started and that's when I started to get the idea into my mind that I wanted to do van life. So I started with this mindset and I'll, I'll never forget it. And I've talked about this before, but it's been a long time. I'll never forget the day where I was like, if it doesn't fit in an RV... I don't need it. And I will always remember walking into Target and because I love Target and I went into like that cheap section in the front where everything's like one to five dollars and I was like if this won't go in an RV I don't need it. And that's what started my mindset of purging and minimalism. I have everything I need and nothing more. But I was actually going through my closet the other night because I have a bedroom with a bed and a desk and one little shelf thing that my stepdad got me many years ago and I have a closet which is not even full and then I have like a corner of the garage where the stuff is mine but even in my closet having very little stuff I was looking in like this tote that I had of office items and paperwork like vet paperwork that sort of thing like my van loan, you know, just, just that, that stuff. Um, and inside it, I had like a box from my Nintendo switch and a box from my old tablet. And I was like, I don't need all this like trash, trash, trash. So I trashed it. And I'm kind of in that mood because the three of us will be moving into a bigger house in two months, not because I need the space, but they need the space. And, um, but even though we're going to move into a bigger house, I'm trying to continue to minimize what I own. So I've been doing that with the van as well. And I have a lot of stuff to donate to the meetup. 
I today I dropped off a box of stuff at Goodwill mainly clothes like a pair of boots you know something like a, a dress that I will never wear um, just stuff that's taken up space you know and some people have told me that oh Amanda you're not a minimalist I, I, I really am I have a closet of stuff and a garage corner of stuff it's no different than a van life or having a storage unit I spend my money on experiences and memories and traveling rather than things <laughs> and that's why like for Christmas my family and friends they only got me stuff that can fit in my van if it doesn't go in my van then I don't need it but right now what I'm doing is charging some stuff up so I I use I like to use my rock pals this is my 300 um, this is a my vacuum that I love so much link in the description it's a car vacuum it's actually a computer vacuum technically for a desk but it's it's incredible and I think I've been using it for about a year now I love this thing so I'm charging it on my rock pals 300 and I also just charged up my laptop now I could be charging this stuff inside my house right but I like to do it in my van I like my van I like to do all this stuff in my van, especially for, um, I just like it. I, I just like to, <laughs> to do it in my van. So I charged up my laptop because this is my new laptop that I carry with me now for all of my, my work and my writing. Um, so I charged that on this Rock Pals, oh, which actually I can turn off that AC plug because I hadn't needed to charge it yet on my Rock Pals and I discovered that it uses about... Uh, 30 watts of power which is kind of what I thought so very standard um, but it's charged up and this um, this is an an Asus Vivo book and I think it's a 14 and a half inch screen very lightweight very thin perfect for my van life and and everything I need to do on the road um, so the battery lasts like eight hours on it which is really nice so when I'm sitting in my driveway at my house this is the, the kind of stuff I do and in this video too, I will show you my front window coverings that I just got, which, oh, and I can take this off, but I'll do that later. And some other consolidation I did in the van to clear up some floor space. I also have my, my wipes bags, my reusable bags that I am filling up with my wipes. So I just kind of do this little stuff when I'm at the house because when I'm at the house, I am so grateful to be able to reset and restock and take my shower and do my laundry and all that stuff. But in like two or three days, I'm ready to go. So I got home yesterday. I got water today. I vacuumed the van. Winston and I, I took Winston with me to do everything. We dropped off the stuff at Goodwill. It's all within five minutes of my house. So we were literally gone for like half an hour. But now, I also, yesterday, I did all my laundry, my sheets, my blankets, put Winston's bed back together. So I do all that sort of stuff when I'm at the house. And I'm so, 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 so grateful that I have that ability. Um, but honestly, I'll probably always have that ability just because I've been living in Arizona for 25 years and my mom's here. So even if I didn't have like a house with other people, I would have my mom's house. So it'll probably always, I'll probably always have a home base, which I, which I really, really enjoy. But I'm trying to spend as much time in the van as possible because that's ultimately like, this is my sanctuary. This is my, this is my little hippie wagon. And I just love it so much. Um, so this is what my bed looks like right now with all my stuff. These are my new heat shields that I'm about to show you for my front windows and oh also I will show you oh I can't flip around my phone um, I will show you that I also flipped Winston's bed around I'm working on my van in the driveway today and I wanted to show you how my heat shields look on my front windows I am incredibly pleased with them they are cut absolutely perfectly which I've heard is a big complaint for the weather tech window coverings so I am I am very very pleased and those holes um, will be covered up by these suctions and these rings which help not only keep the covering in there but they allow it to come out um, easily so 
very, very pleased. And now it looks nice and uniform as well. Let me open my, so here's my passenger. I think I'm, normally I cut off these Velcro. It's so you can like roll it up and store it, but I might actually leave that one on so I can roll up my front window coverings. They'll be easy to store that way. Not really sure, but very happy with the way it looks. And I will show you what it looks like from the outside. As you can see, you can tell that it's reflective on the front, but I do have those black privacy curtains, so I think I'm going to put that on this side of the, the Reflectix when I'm stealth camping because I want it to be a little more private, but at night you can't really see that. It's much harder to see the reflective material in my other windows because they are so tinted. Now, my front windows are tinted as well, but not as tinted as my back windows, so you can see it but uh, these really help, like I said in my video yesterday, they really help with the condensation, um, which we only really have in the winter, but I'll know, I know I'll face it uh, in Oregon this summer, but also of course with insulation. So overall, I'm thrilled, worth the money. My other project was to eliminate anything that I needed to travel with on my floor space. So before I would keep Winston's ramp down here and six gallons of water. And I would always have to move everything if I needed to use my toilet while traveling. Now I have all of my water down here. Well, my drone goes here and then another gallon goes in the front there so I have all of my water down there and then I always carry a gallon of water just right here in that spot so that doesn't take any space and then Winston's ramp is now behind this drawer on the floor ever since I changed to the smaller storage tote as opposed to the larger one it's given me so many more options like I had no idea it would clear up so much space so I can probably find a better spot for both of these towels but that's the least of my concerns I got rid of the stuff or I moved the stuff that was taking up all my floor space and I have towels down here extra towels and then I will put like socks and undies up there on that shelf I am very happy with how everything is coming along since I decided to put Winston's seat back up. But who knew that adjusting my shelves and changing to a smaller storage box would give me so many more options. So I flipped Winston's bed around so that the um, head of the bed is actually toward the front. And I don't know, I just feel like maybe it'll be a little bit safer and then I'm going to buckle the seat around the passenger seat, maybe a little more comfortable. And sometimes the sun comes through the front windshield and it's in his eyes. So it might help to shield his eyes also. When I'm outside doing van things, Winston <laughs> literally can't handle it. Like I leave him in the house because A, it's warm, right? And he has like a king size bed and couches and stuff that he can go on. Um, but I have the door open, I have the garage open, I'm going in and out, I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm doing all sorts of things. So <laughs> I'll go, I'll like go inside my house and he'll just be standing in the hallway staring at me like, are we going? Are we going? Is it time? Is it time? Are we going? Are we going? Are... He always knows when I'm working on the van, but he can't handle it because he loves the van. He wants to travel. He wants to go. He's ready to go with mom. <laughs> I, on travel day, which will be, so I'll be home got home yesterday, I'm home today, I'll be home tomorrow, and then I'll head out Wednesday. So only like two full days at home, three nights. The last thing I put in my van before we go is my hygiene caddy that sits up here that has all my shower stuff and my hygiene stuff in it. When I put that in the van, he knows it's time. It is time. My vacuum's almost done charging. Next on my list is to clean my fridge I just I wipe it out with Clorox wipes between getting groceries tomorrow I have to get groceries that's the only thing I have to do before I head out on Wednesday uh, Maddie often has his 
packages sent to my house. So I have three packages that he had delivered that I'm going to bring him and we're still waiting on one. So another package of his will be delivered tomorrow. So I'm waiting on that until I can leave. So in the meantime, I will finish charging up my stuff, clean my fridge, and then right now my Rock Pals is at 77%, but I will charge it up via my 12 volt here, my DC plug that I have in the wall back here. I'll charge it up with that while I drive on Wednesday and it'll be to 100% in no time. And I think that's it for now. Um, yeah, I got my wipes bags filled up and okay, that's van things. I want to know in the comments if I'm like the only one that does this sort of stuff, whether you're living full time in your van, you're a part timer, you have a house, you have an apartment, whatever your situation is. Do you like to just like hang out in your van and do stuff? <laughs> kind of makes me sound weird, but this is my pride and my joy and my passion. So I'm wondering if anybody else uh, shares that with me. If you do, leave me a comment and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here. I will see you next time.